Uh, so my name is Tristan Grant, aka Wolf Castle, and I'm from Pavano First Nation, New Brunswick. Growing up with both your mother and uncle being rappers, in what ways did that impact your life? It was super influential because I got to see, you know, all sorts of art being created all the time. And it just made sense that I would also follow that path because, I don't know, art is just great and I, and I was just surrounded by it. So, um, you know, they both also dabbled in music and it, it really helped me, you know, make the jump and, and, and want to get into it myself. So it was super great, super influential. What were some unexpected obstacles that you faced when starting off with live performances? I think unexpected obstacles, let's see. I think it's 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 tough to know, like um, everything you need to have in order for a show. Like when I first started doing shows, uh, I didn't really have a huge understanding of stage uh, and, and what to bring to a show. So I remember the first DCMAs I went to, uh, I didn't bring like any of my music with me or my gear because I just thought they would play it. Uh, I didn't know what they were gonna do. So I just had a USB stick with all my stuff on it. And, you know, I showed up and they were like, well, where's your gear? Where's your music stuff? And I was like, I don't have any of that. <laughs> and they were like, uh, well, we don't know what to do then. Um, but luckily somebody helped me out in that moment and gave me somewhere to play music from. But, you know, unexpected obstacles, surprisingly enough, just go on like the tech side of things and not really knowing what <laughs> to bring. But it's been a long couple of years of doing shows and I've learned uh, what to expect over the years. And uh, it's all it's all part of it. It's just fun. How do you think your music has grown as you've grown? I started as a teenager. I was talking about teenage stuff, right? And, and what I was going through at that time and figuring out what kind of a person I was and where I fit in the context of everything, especially as an indigenous uh, youth, right? Like, So a lot of my music was reflecting on that and what it meant to you know grow up on the reserve and be part of the larger outside world and, and things like that. And now I find a lot of the music I'm writing is just kind of about where I am at this point in life where, uh, you know, when you grow up, you kind of end up in these weird spaces between adulthood and childhood. <laughs> and now I'm 25 and I don't feel like a kid anymore. And it took me a long time to get to that point. Um, so now I write music kind of talking about that, I suppose. And like, what does it mean to be at this point in my life where I'm not just figuring it out, I just know what's going on now, or I'm having a better understanding of it. So uh, yeah, the music grows with me because it's just a therapeutic thing. Do you think there are any aspects of environmentalism or activism in your music? Yeah, you know, I think um, talking about my perspective and where I'm coming from, uh, in the, you know, yeah. as an indigenous artist, uh, I grew up in spaces that others didn't, right? Um, mm -hmm. So I like to be an activist in that sense where I can tell my truth and really a lot of people will resonate with that and understand that because a lot of other First Nations people have gone through the same thing you know mm -hmm. um, so I find it really cool that I, I you know I care a lot about the issues and what people are going through and I have a lot of empathy for that sort of thing and I had dabbled in you know do I want to be an environmentalist do I want to get into like green Stuff, like do I want to be a scientist or what but the best thing I can do for myself to I think that helps the most is to write music uh, and perform and that's the way I can spread my message the best I can. Yeah. Is there a stylistic label that you prefer? I think I, I really like um, my heart will always be an old school hip hop uh, because I really love just writing really intense um, com complex rhyme schemes and like wrapping those but uh, I don't know. I think I just really like pop music too. I just because I, I don't know. I'm trying to get the message out there in a way that is also just like really fun and easy to listen to. Also, because as much as I care about that stuff, I also really love just making really fun, catchy music. And I think it even can be more effective if you kind of slide a real meaning in there somewhere, right? Like, uh, so I like to think that if you want to listen to my music. Um, you can look into the, the deep lyrical content for what I'm saying, or you can just enjoy it on a surface level. It doesn't really bother me because I think it, the message comes across no matter what. So, yeah. Wow. Yeah. So, um, we actually follow your tech talk. Oh, yeah? <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> and, um, we watched one of your recent TikToks on yeah. something that uh, your partner got you into. <laughs> yes? <laughs> Would you mind? I'll share a lot about that. Um, <laughs> so I have my girlfriend's Allison. She's right there. 
who's lovely, wonderful. Uh, she recently got me some red crocs with like gibbets, like a duck gibbet and a Yoshi gibbet from Mario Bros. And I gotta say, I was a croc hater. I didn't like crocs. I didn't think I wanted them, but they're so comfortable. Like whenever I get home, like I can't wait to get home because I am putting those Crocs on and I never take them off. Like I never take them off. I'm always wearing them. And I never would have done that if I wasn't, you know, with my lovely girlfriend, Allison. Cause she turned me on to that and she knows best. You know, she knows what's comfy and I'm not, I can't pretend to be too cool for Crocs anymore. So there you go. Are there any other things which your partner has convinced you to do or buy? Be a better person, <laughs> be uh, open and, and, and just, you know, about how I feel and grow even more and want to be somebody that like is just I don't know better I guess <laughs> and also really like k-pop now <laughs> she loves k-pop and I can't get enough so that opened my world so she opens my world a lot so you know I appreciate that us here at Spartan TV want to give a huge thank you to everyone at Paddlefist and an extra special thank you to Wolfcastle. If you would like to see more of the artist's content, check out the links in the description below. If you would like to see more of our content, you can check out either of these videos up here or any of the other ones on our channel. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with everyone you know.